Good morning on this beautiful Monday, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope that you're looking forward to a wonderful week. I do know the weather's supposed to be much better this week, or at least that's what the weatherman says. But in any event, I hope that more than anything else, you're living your very best life in Jesus Christ. I was thinking the other day that one of the basic needs of a human being is to feel needed and loved. And yet, I read a study the other day that even long-married couples often fall into the trap of failing to show appreciation and affection for one another. I mean, think about it. It's almost a cliche to hear both men and women say things like, well, she doesn't respect me, or he never tells me that he loves me. I mean, while it is true in our society, some men have been raised to not openly express emotion because it's considered somehow unmanly, this is not the entire answer. Both men and women often fail to adequately, adequately excuse me, express their emotions to each other, often telling themselves things like, well, he or she already knows how I feel. The truth is that failing to communicate love, respect, and value to each other is often a sign of serious issues in a relationship. Because even though the other person may indeed know how you feel, they still have an innate need to both hear it and see it in action. Failing this, both people tend to become closed in and resentful. This is not the way to a joyful or godly relationship because it lacks true intimacy in an emotional sense. And the saddest part is that we often do this to our Lord as well. We limit our openness and intimacy with Him. I mean, it's good to have love for God in your heart, but even better to express it with the words of your mouth. We need to tell God several times each day that we love Him. I mean, that's why the say well, David says it this way. He says in the Psalms 18.1, I love you fervently and devotedly, O Lord, my strength. It isn't good enough to merely think, well, God already knows how I feel. I mean, are you blessed when people tell you they love and appreciate you? Well, of course you are. And it blesses God when we verbalize our love and praise for him. Verbal expression of love and gratitude improves all our relationships, including our relationship with God. That's one of the reasons praise is such a vital part of true worship. Our attitude should be that of David in Psalm 34, 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Failing to tell your spouse you love them and then continuing and showing it is damaging to a marriage in both the short term and the long term. And when we cease to praise God and show our appreciation for Him, we are closing ourselves off in that same kind of way and growing more distant, less intimate, and colder. Well, I hate to tell you this, but this is certainly not God's will for our lives, as He wants intimacy with us. I mean, why else would He offer His only Son, Jesus, so that we may be reconciled with Him? We need to remember that we should never offer our petitions to God without telling Him how grateful we are for what He has already done for us. And as for here on earth, well, if you want to improve your marriage, tell your spouse, I love you. I appreciate you. I respect you. And then, of course, follow through by showing it with your actions. It's a practical and loving thing to do. I mean, think about it. That applies to all our relationships. As parents, we're more likely to answer the request of a thankful child than we are a grouchy and ungrateful one. And as an employer, as an employer, I want to do even more for employees who are appreciative. I mean, offering our continual gratitude to God for His goodness and mercy in our lives moves Him to want to do even more for us, and that seems almost impossible to imagine. Our gratitude shows God that we're mature enough to handle even more blessings and responsibilities. Look, instead of saying things like, I know my husband loves me, but I wish he would tell me more often, or my wife never acts as though she appreciates the hard work I do to provide for my family, let's try to be more diligent in telling God and the other people in our lives that we love and appreciate them, and tell them what they mean to us. So, I hate to tell you this, but say, I love you. 
I appreciate all the wonderful things you've done and continue to do for me. I'm so grateful to you. Why shouldn't we say that to God as well? I mean, the point is it can't help but draw us closer to those we love and the Father of all love as well. I hope you have a wonderful day today. I look forward to seeing some of you tomorrow evening for our prayer meeting. But more than anything else, I want you to know that I'm here should you need me. And I truly, truly love you all. If you need me, I'm a phone call or a text away. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.